Right guys, so I'm going to show you an audit from Leominster Police Station of this uh, penis of a policeman that I bumped into. It was one that I actually uploaded as a live stream and then accidentally deleted it. I couldn't recover the second half of it when I started live streaming, but I did manage to get a few minutes of this fella recorded before I actually went to uh, the live stream. So I'll show you what happened there with this chap. I have got a video of him come next week. It was actually the second time in the same day that I managed to blitz him. Um, so there's a full video of him coming as well. So this is just a taster from the second encounter. I'll give you the full first encounter next week. And without further ado, let's go and meet this silly, silly policeman who you'll see more of next week. All right, guys, enjoy the short clip and I'll see you at the weekend. And time. Move away from our police station, right now, okay? Look who it Move is again, away. guys. Right now, because I am suspecting you of committing an offence, okay, a criminal offence. If you're going to use and your I terrorism want you, card... I want you to stop filming. If you're going to use your terrorism man, card... Stop hiding behind your camera. You're not hiding. Okay? If you're going to use your terrorism card, okay. you're going to get told off for it, so don't even think about what it. What am I going to use what, sorry? The terrorism card. Because this Why is what all this is about. That now puts bounds in my head. No, it doesn't, because this is, this is what I do. Documentaries this on police abusing section 43. Why have you said terrorism? Because I do documentaries do you, do you on police. Are you listening? Do you Just shut up a minute and listen. You've Don't got... talk to Just me you like that. And listen to me. Don't talk to me stop like that. All the time. You're not always right, fella. If you're outside a police station or a military barracks and you're filming, you will attract attention by police, military, whatever, okay? Now, what you're doing, I suspect, because you've just mentioned the Terrorism Act, I'm doing a documentary you're doing something around the terrorism. Uh, Go for adult. it and see if you end up in court so then. I, so I am asking you for your details. I want to check you out. Make sure I'm not giving you me details. If you, do not, if you want to get yourself in court you not, for an unlawful arrest, you not, go for it. Because I can suspect anything. I'm a police you need, officer, you need anything, reasonable okay? suspicion. I've told you my details. You lot have been in trouble for this you, before. I'm a, I don't care. I, I'm asking you well, for your go details. Well, go for it. You'll end up in court. You're not getting them because I've done nothing time. wrong. And I've right, fair enough then. I've been in the police. I've been in court loads of times, okay? So what does that tell you? Mr. That tells you that Mr. this time you're going to... I'm not Mr. telling you. You ain't fine, you know. What's your name? I'm not telling you. Okay, I'm going to get a van here and Go you're going to be it. arrested. Go on then. There's nothing to arrest me for. I've done nothing if you, wrong. If you, if you fail to give your details under Section 24 of CASE, Police and Criminal Revenue Act 1984, I will arrest you for your details because for... I suspect you are now at a police station. You've been seen at Hereford. Yeah. And now we've come up to do an inquiry up here and lo and behold, you're outside my station again. Where? Your so, station? Yes, it's our it's station. station. The public's that we pay I'm, for. I'm a West Mercia police officer. So, I serve we pay West for this. Mercia police. I don't serve you. You I'm should do. Serving. I'm a public we pay servant you working, you working Whitehall and places like that, okay, in London. You need to know what you're talking about before you start mouthing off. All right? You've if got any, a very big mouth. If there, anyone's in uh, uh, Lemster, head down here at the police I station. You carry on. So, you should be making threats for full lawful arrest. It's a promise. If you don't tell me, you will be arrested. Yes, anyway, so the bit that I actually lost was, uh, was a bit of a shame because it was a, a good interaction that we had with him. He was basically just being obnoxious as hell, really aggressive, and trying to whack the big shot in front of a lady that was with him. She was a pretty young WPC. Um, I said to her, I said, do you honestly think that he's uh, he should be doing the job he's doing with that sort of aggression and that sort of ego? And he immediately came running over and said, stop talking, stop talking to her, stop talking to her. Um, she's my colleague, stop talking to her. And he was basically like showing off in front of her the whole time. So I sort of said to him, oh, it's pretty obvious you're wanting in her knickers, aren't you? And I said, well, it ain't happening after a day, is it? Because I'd absolutely destroyed him at the one before that. So he's, that's he proper in his backside then and he got in my face a bit more. Um... Anyway, they'd ended up telling him over the radio he was absolutely skitzing, wanting to arrest me for terrorism. But basically, they were telling him on the radio to leave me alone um, and that I wasn't a terrorist, I was just annoying. I heard him say that, so I was I was giving him a bit of jip about that, that he couldn't do anything again. Um, so he seen his ass because he got told the second time to leave us alone, spat his dummy out big style, said, Oh, I don't care, I'm off for a bacon sandwich, I've got better things to do, to which you know, like I retorted, I said, oh, why, why are you having a bacon sandwich? Are you a cannibal? And he just gives another dirty look again. So he actually hammered his wee scorder down the road in like a fit of rage. Um, I wouldn't want to be in his boyfriend's shoes when he got home, like. Uh, so keep an eye out for 
him getting his good hide in on the first video. I'll upload that at the weekend. Who can you hear Oscar snoring? Well, he usually does it a lot louder than that. I mean, to the point where he'll keep you awake at the night time. So, yeah, anyway, I'll get that other video uploaded at the weekend. It's an absolute corker. You'll see that fellow in action again in full swing. And you'll see him get a good pacing and do the walk of shame, the drive of shame, the whole shabam. So, right, keep an eye out, guys, and I'll see you at the weekend.